from NBC5, this is the NBC5 News at 5. There are stories of hope tonight, and one we really want to share with you. The Chicago Bears, they know a thing or two about teamwork, and today several monsters of the Midway rushed into that tornado zone, bringing with them necessary supplies and a feeling of hope. Our Peggy Kaczynski got an exclusive look as Bears kicker Robbie Gold displayed a golden touch. Sunday, Robbie Gold was kicking the Bears game-winning field goal in overtime. And it's good! 48 hours later, he was on a bus with teammates 84 miles from the Bears practice facility, heading to Coal City to help victims of the tornadoes. Can you stop for one second? Blake Costanzo, Rasheed Davis, Anthony Adams, up, Jared McManus. What's going on, man? You guys doing okay? How's it going? Hello, man. How are you guys? I like you. I mean, you're free to look inside if you want. You care? See what a tornado does. Yeah. You know, uh, if you don't mind, I'd love to come in and check it out. Where were you? I was actually watching the Bears on this TV. I was watching the Bears here, and like I said, before they came to the window, and then, uh, you know, then I ran downstairs. And when you walk out, you hear people screaming, and I mean, we were not hit the hardest. Our neighbors, our houses are gone, and it's sad. It's amazing, overwhelming. Uh, just can't thank Robbie and the whole Bears organization, everybody for coming out and helping us. But for one Bears fan, seeing these players was especially important. Ed Hyduke is a season ticket holder. He was at Sunday's game when his wife texted him during the delay to tell them their house was hit. By the time I got to the house, it's like, oh man, and I'm, I'm just glad no one got hurt. You know, we're so, thinking of you. Well, God love Definitely you, man. your thoughts and prayers, all right? Yeah, appreciate it. And uh, bear down, right? In Cole City, Peggy Kaczynski, NBC5 Sports.